Hey guys, Dave Anderson, Heli Cools Heli Pad. Thank you so very much for clicking on this video. You're not going to be disappointed. Now that I have this full size LMTV torn down and now it's made into a trailer, um, I have a ton of oil that is left over from the engine, the transmission, all. I mean, I must have 25 gallons. And I'm just wondering. What can I make with that? There's got to be something that I can use that oil for. I mean, I just need to figure something out. And I think I have just the thing. You guys stay tuned. So I've decided to make a waste oil burner. And the first stop that I need to make is to Goodwill so that I can pick up a few stainless steel pots for pretty doggone cheap. I'll be back in a flash. All right, let me explain this. Okay, so here is my burner pot. Really, I mean, not bad for Goodwill. Uh, nice cast, not cast iron, nice uh, stainless steel pot. It's uh, probably about seven, maybe eight inches deep. I have this other nice little pan here. And basically this is just going to serve as a dish underneath to locate this pan because I'm gonna cut a, a square hole in the bottom of this because air is gonna come through the bottom here. And this little pot is the diffuser on top. So this will have little holes cut in it and it will go down inside of this like this so this will be the top so air coming in from the bottom through that through that three inch pipe shooting out the holes that I'm gonna drill in this create that uh, that burning power that is going to be needed when this thing gets to rocking and rolling. So you kind of know what we're doing. Let's go ahead and get started. And I've also salvaged one of these, these old brake rotors uh, from my wife's van. And the plan is, is I'm going to cut this off with the torch. And this is going to set on top of my burner so that all of the flame is going to be directed into the center rather than on the side of the propane tank because um, I don't want the propane tank to be burning up or, or get uh, smoking hot. I, you kind of want uh, that to be a little bit more safe and I think that's the way to do it. Careful not to cut yourself. All right, now I am going to weld this about like that, about one inch out of the bottom. So I have about three inches inside, okay?
All right, well, this is really the hardest part is uh, making sure that that weld is really good inside there so that it's fairly watertight. Now all I have to do is drill a bunch of holes in this. This goes right down on top of there, just like we discussed earlier. And it'll be ready. It's just that easy. Drilling through stainless steel can get your bit a little bit hot. <laughs> yeah, keep it lubed, keep it cooled off. I use a WD-40 just to do that. This is not a paid advertisement, by the way. But this is the result. Okay, so lots of holes. This should work pretty good. I think we're about ready to, or getting close anyway, to fire this thing up. What do you say? All right, so I'm gonna light this thing right on top of my rim stove because, well, you can't hurt a rim stove at all. This just goes right on top. Oh, like a glove. All right, let's get some kerosene. Well, I don't have any kerosene, but what I do have is some Holman, uh, I guess you'd call it white gas. I'm just gonna stuff these down in here to, to uh, have something like a wick so that it will start burning. Do not do this with, with uh, gasoline. I'm not even really sure that I want to do this with this white gas. All right, so here's just a little bit of motor oil. Apparently, this thing takes a little bit of time to warm up so that the uh, oil starts uh, really getting vigorously spit around in there and then it will start a really nice flame. It's looking pretty good already and it hadn't been but what three minutes?
Well, I think it's still heating up. From what I understand, that thing has to get pretty hot for it to start uh, really getting vigorous. Um, I think because I don't have a lid on it, it's it's just not going to get that vigorous, and and I still need to cut out the center of that that big uh, brake um, rotor. But it's not bad. I think the 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 test one here is is working okay. So I just need to build the rest of the stove. All right. So it's been about ten minutes. And it's looking really pretty good. And it seems to be getting better and better as it heats up. So that's a good thing. All right, so now you can start to see it's uh, glowing. And that is what it's really supposed to do. And it's really taken off and Kind of going nuclear there, that's really good. So it did take a little bit of time to warm up, but uh, wow, that's, that's impressive. Well, the testing is complete here and in the nick of time, as you can hear all of the rain coming down. I think this has been successful. Uh, I can't wait to start building the stove and I'm gonna actually use some of that waste oil, get some heat out of it and possibly even make a stove where I can even cook with it. I think that is a fantastic use of this waste oil. So next time guys, I hope you join me. We're gonna be building a stove. Until then, you guys be safe out there and God bless.